Hi guys, a quick update regarding Skyrim Special Edition and the planned playthrough. Most of you already know that I was planning on starting it once I'd finished some tutorials that I've been working on and most of you have also probably put two and two together and come to the conclusion that the tutorials in question are regarding Vortex. Vortex is the new mod management tool by Nexus that is now in a limited beta state and that is in fact the case. Now currently I'm only playing or planning on playing two games that are moddable, that is Fallout New Vegas and Skyrim Special Edition. I really don't think it's a good idea to shift mod management tools at this point on my New Vegas playthrough. I really want to do as little as possible uh, with regards to that game. I, don't want, I basically don't want to mess up the load order. That leaves Skyrim Special Edition as the game of choice to make the tutorials with and of course to continue modding my game with and become more and more familiar with that tool. This does of course mean Skyrim Special Edition is a little reliant on me getting to a point where I'm willing to mod the game a lot. I need my Skyrim Special Edition installation to be relatively clear at the moment for the tutorials and I can't do anything weird like a cloned game because I want to keep it very standard during the tutorials and during this beta test phase. I don't want to do anything unusual or out of the ordinary. Things are going very well at the moment, but I am waiting on a small bug fix to finish one of the videos. And because of a UI change that has occurred, not a big one, but I, it's an important one, I need to re-record a section of at least one of the videos. The bottom line is I'm waiting for a few minor fixes to occur before I finish off those tutorials. And of course, I'm going to be holding off on the Skyrim Let's Play until that happens. We're not talking a major delay, but it doesn't look like this week is going to happen, is what I'm saying. Now, the thing is, it's not because I'm going to be spending all of my time on the tutorials. I'm going to be spending a little time on the tutorials, but I am going to have some time set aside to get some recording of, you know, play done. But it won't be Skyrim Special Edition. So I'm going to be looking at another short game to do a quick playthrough of. I don't know what that's going to be. It may even be a horror one. I'm not, I'm not totally sure what it's going to be. I've got a few candidates. I will look into that and try and get something started in the next day or so, so that once the Edith Finch playthrough is finished, I've got something for a week or two until the Skyrim playthrough begins. However, I have been looking at a lot of mods that you guys have been suggesting, and of course, some that I thought of myself, and I've got some ideas of what I'm going to be adding to my load order. Of course, I'm going to be having Sky UI, Immersive Hood, SKSE 64, that sort of thing. And to be honest with you, I'm probably going to have static mesh improvement mod because it, it just is such a, a good all-round improvement. I'm thinking about the quality world map. I do enjoy a map with roads. And I'm thinking of something like the expanded Skyrim weaponry mod, which adds a lot of new weapons. I'm thinking I should find something that adds armor as well. I'm not sure what to use for Skyrim Special Edition. If only there were people watching this who could make some suggestions. Um, Ordinator seemed to be a popular pick, but people were suggesting I use a combat overhaul mod as well. And there is one called Wildcat by the same maker of Ordinator, but there was also one called Vigor, Combat and Injury. So I'm looking at those two. There were a few suggestions for content related mods, DLC sized mods, quest mods, that sort of things, stuff like Legacy of the Dragonborn SSE. But I'm thinking this is something I add once I've done some of the vanilla factions in, in the new playthrough. Of course, I'm planning on playing a stealthy character and there are a couple of factions that I've not yet played in a let's play so I was planning on doing those first, getting the character established, and then adding some content that adds new quests. Because it's going to be a 
stealthy type character. I'm thinking Sneak Tools SE Edition, Master of Disguise, Realistic AI Detection, Better Sneaking, and Destructible Display Cases. If there are any others that you think a budding thief would uh, want to use, I'm open to suggestions. Inigo is a, is a follower mod that people have been nagging me to try for the longest time. The longest time. So there's a good chance I will be adding Indigo. Uh, we, we will be checking out that particular follower. There are also mods such as the Relationship Dialogue Overhaul and Immersive Citizens. So those are the sort of the base mods I'm thinking of using. I wasn't sure whether I should use a follower overhaul mod or whether I should just stick with one follower only. If this is going to be a thiefish type playthrough, I don't want to be dragging around a massive posse. I'm also thinking perhaps I should use something like Convenient Horses, that kind of, you know, the, the, the mod that makes it a little easier to call your horse and, of course, get your horse killed and be stranding out in the middle of nowhere carrying tons of loot. I want to go a little easy on the visual mods at the start. Those are the sort of mods I can add as we go. They generally don't add anything to your save because they're usually things like textures or models. So as I play and get used to the vanilla Skyrim Special Edition look, I may start adding mods like that. But at the start, I'm not sure I really do need to start with them. It, it, it is a case of wanting to get a feel for the vanilla before I start adding mods, just so I know what I'm modding. And of course, apart from stability, the visuals are probably the biggest change from Skyrim Special Edition to Skyrim. So that's the, that's the area I am actually least familiar with. So there you have it. Those are the mods that I'm thinking of trying. Please give me any feedback or suggestions down below, and hopefully we will get this started in the very near future.